Well, friends, this is not how we expected this to work out, but we had to make a decision. And we decided to separate out the guineas. We set this up last night and got them after nightfall so everyone was pretty calm. But everyone's pretty upset today because they're not with the rest of their friends. But they're getting the hang of it. It was raining this morning and they were all out in the rain. <laughs> looking for the rest of their flock. We did not want to have to separate them from the rest of the flock, but they were just way too mean to the chickens and bullied them out of food, and I witnessed them on multiple occasions. Pinpoint a chicken and flank her and then proceed to gang up on her and pull out feathers and stomp on her and we've had to break them up multiple times. I don't know if this is typical of guineas, but I just couldn't watch that happen anymore. So, for everyone's sake, we moved them out. We had just actually taken this A-frame and basically taken it apart <laughs> because it was way too heavy to move all put together. And as you guys can see, it's pretty um, rotten and falling apart anyway. But... We took it apart and put it in storage and we were going to be done with it. But then when we decided, you know, enough was enough, Mike had to basically Frankenstein it back together just so that they would have a place to be dry and out of the weather. Um, he did leave off this side uh, so that they can get in and out. But they are protected on mo most sides. And I did move them to this backyard area. Um, they're next to the tiny house here. And then our house there. And then the chickens are on the other side on the, in our front yard. So I didn't want them to really be able to see the chickens. Because I don't want them to go back to the chickens. <laughs> Mike and I were placing bets on how fast it would take them to go back to the chicken yard. I just missed a really pathetic beginning rooster crow. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> They're just starting to use their vocals. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> Hi guys. Look at that! That was Rick! I got it on film! Hey buddy! What do you guys think? There you guys go. So yeah, this poor chicken right there, that buff, she is so much smaller than everybody else, even more so than her sister. She has had her tail feathers pulled out multiple times, and she's always the last one in. 
first one out. Our well summers have pecks at the back of their neck. I don't know if you can tell on her. She's been nabbed a few times. When I had to intervene, it was one of our well summers that was getting her butt kicked. All seven of our guineas. I, I watched it happen. I happened to be outside and I saw one of our pearl guineas point her out, like pick her out of the crowd and then kind of stalk her and then attack her and then the rest of the gang proceeded to follow behind. Ow. Yes, I see you. I will give you love. Hi. Um... And then the rest of the guineas follow behind and they would chase her around the coop and then they caught her over here and they were all on top of her and kicking her and pecking at her and pulling out her feathers and she's screaming like crazy. And our roosters are the last two birds in the flock just following along behind like it's some kind of a game. You know, they won't defend the girls because the guineas were part of the flock. So they just, you know, it wasn't an intruder that they needed to protect the chicken from. It was just part of that pack mentality. So our hope is that with removing the guineas, the roosters will take more ownership of their flock and defend their girls more, all of them. And then that way, when we start free ranging our guineas, if the guineas come around and they start acting crazy and trying to attack the girls, maybe they'll stand up to them. Also, our red stars, these lovely ladies here, they could start laying any day. Actually, all of them could start laying any day. But really, I'm expecting the red stars to start pretty soon. But I just think that they're too stressed out right now to even think about laying eggs. And then, yes, baby, hi. My bard pecks at me to get attention. Um, and then my old girls, Esmeralda and Blanche and Ruby, the Easter Eggers, they are now four years old. And then Ali and Coco and Olga. Coco is our Black Copper Moran. Olga is our Ostralorp and Ali is our Olivegger behind the boys there. They are three years old. <clears throat> or this is like their third season. They'll be three and four years old come March. Um, they just started laying for us again. But then when we combine the two flocks and I know that's stressful in itself, but I, they were stressed out by the guineas as well, and they have pretty much stopped laying also. Um, so I'm just hoping by removing the guineas, that way no one's getting hurt. This flock can come up with their own pecking order. The boys can figure out their purpose more and take more ownership of their girls and hopefully we can get some happy hens here laying hens not stressed out hens we have seen 
Hollywood mate or try to mate with the girls, not with my big girls, but I think with one of the well summers or one of the red stars, he mated them, one of them the other day. So we're thinking that they might start laying soon and I've seen a couple of the little girls squat. So they, they could be ready soon to start laying. So hopefully giving them this, would you cut it out? Ooh, I'm gonna fall over. Hi girls. Giving them a more peaceful environment will help everybody out. I don't know if you guys can hear that. They're over there yelling. So another thing that I'm going to try is one of these nest box mats in our nest box because as you can see it is currently empty except for our false egg that we have in there. Every time we put straw in here it gets spread all over the coop and our poor girls have nowhere nice and cushy to lay their eggs. So I've been getting lots of very dirty eggs because they just are dropping them wherever. Um, I don't know if it was the guineas or the roosters or the new chickens, but I'm hoping that this will do the trick and keep them. This is supposed to be a deterrent to kicking out the bedding. Let's just tuck it in there. I don't know if it was like boredom or what. Put that egg back in there. But this is supposed to help keep birds from pulling it out and give our girls a nice clean dry place to lay and hopefully I will be getting cleaner eggs. <laughs> there goes Rick again. <laughs> Finding his voice. So here's to hoping. Well, we kind of thought this was going to happen. Come on. Everybody's out. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's three of them here, and the other four are up by the girls. Come on. Thank you guys for stopping by today and joining in on our journey here at Bourbon's Living. We'll catch you on the next one.